Yeah, Ricky, uh, what what uh, what are you looking forward to out of Saturday and, and getting in the, the red-white game? What do you hope to get accomplished? Uh, just being really physical in the spring game, uh, just trying to dominate as an offensive line. And, you know, hopefully the, uh, the uh, whole team morale will come together really well and it just becomes a good game and just have a lot of fun too. And uh, I know we're getting ready to talk to Torian too. And Coach Pittman was telling us he was kind of a, a surprise this spring. Have you gone up against him at all? And what, what's that? What have you seen from him this spring? Yeah, uh, TC has been a great player. Me and him, me and him, me and him have been competing really well against each other every day. Um, we go back and forth with words sometimes, but that's just because we're playing hard with each other. But he's been great up front. Um, he's leading those guys pretty well, and he's been, he's been doing really good. Trey. Yeah, I was curious. Uh, you added a lot of weight last year. You got it to like 311, and I think you're at 316 now. I, I was curious, like, is it the same kind of weight? Have you just like added a bunch more muscle or something? Because you actually, to me, you look a little a little slimmer. Yeah, I think I lost a little bit of fat, and I gained a little bit more muscle during this uh, from January to March before we started spring ball. So I think I, I think that's exactly what happened. I think I just lost a little bit of fat and just gained a little bit of muscle, but um, just went up like five pounds. So nothing, nothing's been different. I feel the same as last year, kind of just a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger too. Yeah. Well, your weight's been kind of an adventure since uh, going yeah. back to junior year. So this might be the first year probably since then that you've carried like a similar amount of weight. How much do you think that'll benefit you uh, another year of going, you know, 310 plus? Yeah, I mean, next year, I mean, hopefully, like, I, you know, continue to, you know, trim some fat, you know, gain some muscle, but kind of stay in the same weight range and just become faster and stronger. And hopefully that's just, you know, that's the line I go down. Perfect. Scotty. Yeah, Ricky, just kind of wonder what your spring has been like. Where have you progressed individually? Uh, I think I progressed in – the run game mostly, uh, like combo fits with our guards. Um, I think I progressed in that. I think last year I was decent at it. I think I've gotten a, a lot better in the spring. Um, I still want to work on uh, pass protection a little bit more. I think that was one of my strong suits uh, last year, but I've gotten better than the combo fits in the run game, but I want to continue to grow in every aspect of it. For sure. Uh, you mentioned going head to head with, with Torian. What does he do well as a defensive lineman that can give a lineman some fits? TC uses his hands really well. Um, he He's able to, you know, grab my hands sometimes. Sometimes I shoot my hands, he grabs them from me. Um, a lot of the linemen I've played have not done that. He's, he uses his hands really, really well as a D lineman. That's a big thing for a defensive lineman. Dudley. Just the young guys on the offensive <laughs> line, have you seen them step forward this, uh, this spring? The whole defensive line has been progressing. Uh, they've been playing hard. I mean, it's been it's been physical practice. I mean, every single practice is a physical practice. Um, Jay Shot Stewart, he's been he's caught my eye. Uh, Eric Gregory, I mean, Eric Gregory's not young. He's caught my eye too. Um, the, I mean, the whole D line's been doing a really good job, and they 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 uh, need to keep going. It's a good step, but I was talking about your offensive line, yeah. I'll say what? I'm sorry. The young the young guys on the offensive line. Oh, I thought you said defense. My bad. Uh, the young guys, uh, Marcus Ray. Marcus has come a long way. Uh, Marcus is Marcus is he's really smart. He's super athletic. Um, Ray uh, Ray's doing pretty well too. Uh, they're both the, the the all 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 of the young guys are doing pretty good, and they just uh, need to keep going, keep buying in. Tom. Ricky, I was wondering about the uh, kind of the team goals when you came in the spring, things you guys wanted to get done from the big picture standpoint. What have y'all gotten done in the spring? Uh, number one would be physicality as O line. Uh, Coach Davis is preaching physicality from the very start. Um, so physicality as an O lineman has been number one goal, and I think we really amped that up in the spring. We need to continue in the fall. And Sam told us the other day that he thought the last four practices or so that KJ's completion percentage has gone up. What have you seen from him as spring has gone on in terms of accuracy and leadership and all those things? Yeah, KJ is, KJ, KJ is a great leader. Uh, he's, he came to my class, so I've known him for a while. And um, he's, he's, he's always continuing to grow, always trying to get better, always trying to push other people. Um, he's a great quarterback, and he's going to continue to grow and get better. And uh, you didn't get a spring last year, but the fans get to watch y'all on Saturday. What do you, what do you want to see on Saturday? Uh, just 
people competing out there, flying around, having fun, playing physical football. Um, just put on a show for the fans, let them enjoy it. Otis. Hey, uh, Ricky, uh, Luke Jones has really seemed to be making a push at left guard. What has he done well? What have you seen from Luke, maybe opposed to what he did last Yeah, uh, Luke has uh, really bought in this year. Um, he bought in last year, but he's growing like crazy. Uh, he's really in the playbook. Uh, he's really learning. He's really playing physical, really physical ball. And he's just continuing to get better and better every day. He buys in, and he's just going to continue to get better and better and better. All right, we've got time for a few more. Let me know if you got more in the chat. Trey? Sorry, Kyle, that was mine that Otis just asked. But um, I guess on, on, on these practices, um, without, without full pads and stuff, and Coach Pittman talks a lot about being physical and stuff, how, how do you guys do that, I guess, without being in full gear? Yeah, I mean, we go shells, so, it's, so we have shorts on, but I mean, it doesn't matter really for us. We still play hard. We're still we're still playing like just if we had full pads on. So it doesn't it doesn't change much for us. But we just continue to be physical without pads. We just got to keep doing that over and over and over. All right, that'll wrap us up with Ricky. Thanks, Ricky. Thank you, Thank you guys.